Hey guys, Michael from Copper vs Glass, and it's that time of year again when Google have announced their newest device, the Pixel 2. So today we're going to be looking at three different launches that's going to allow you to get the look and feel of the Pixel 2 straight away. The main aesthetic change is going to be the search bar integrated into the dock itself and you've also got your option of two different widgets whether it's going to be the date and also the weather or you've got one that can include your calendar and upcoming appointments. Now the two customized launchers that we're going to be using are Action Launcher and also Nova Launcher Prime and we're also going to be taking a very quick look at the new Google Pixel 2 launcher which has recently been announced as an APK which you can download for yourself and that's going to be linked in the description down below. So starting off with the Google Pixel 2 launcher and you can see here that down the bottom integrated into the dock is going to be that search bar for Google and then at the top I've got the main widget which has got the date and also the weather. You can click on the date to get instant access to your Google Calendar and then you can click on the weather to get instant access to the Google weather application which is actually part of Google search although you can have a shortcut directly on your home screen. Now to access your applications you simply swipe up from the bottom and then you've got all of your applications here in alphabetical order so again it's really easy to find and see exactly what you're looking for. You've also got your most used or frequently used applications along the top and you can also scroll really quickly with the sidebar to get to the exact application that you want. Now you can also long press on the home screen to get to your wallpapers however you will need to have the Google wallpapers application installed to use this feature otherwise you're going to have to change the wallpaper within the settings of your actual device. However the Google wallpaper app is really nice you've got some really awesome wallpapers direct from Google in terms of Google Earth and some other images that look extremely nice on any device. In terms of settings it is extremely vague in terms of what you've got here you've got the at a glance feature which is basically the widget at the top of the screen to allow you to have calendar notifications traffic notifications and you can also see the time and all the weather. You've also got the option to have the Google search app directly on the left hand screen from a swipe in however for some reason on the Galaxy S7 Edge that doesn't actually work so if I swipe across it's not going to open Google now which is a little bit of a disappointment however this launcher is primarily made for Pixel devices. Now not to worry though because using Action Launcher and also using Nova Launcher you can get that Google Now integration really easily. Now as smooth and fluid as this launcher actually is, there are basically no customization options whatsoever. So for me, as you can see here, I've got multiple contact applications and clock applications from Samsung and also Google, and there's no way to actually hide any of these applications. You can click on it to get the application information, and you can also click on it to get the widgets that are available as well. However, there's no way to hide applications that you don't want to see. So if you've got a lot of application duplicates, this isn't going to be the best launcher for that. But overall, coming direct from Google, this is a really awesome launcher and it works extremely well on pretty much any device running Lollipop or above. Now though, we're going to be looking at some other launchers in terms of Action Launcher and also Nova Launcher to get a lot more customization but get all of the features from the brand new Pixel 2. So starting off now with Action Launcher and I've already customized it to look like the Pixel 2 as you can see here. Now you've still got all of these same features from Action Launcher that you've come to know and love. So you've got long pressing on icons to get to certain shortcuts and you can also swipe up on icons to get these shutters. So again you can see here it's got the widget for Spotify directly on the home screen. You don't need to actually fill up any home screen space which is really awesome. You've got a lot of integration as well with Google Now from a swipe in from the left hand side. So again if you do use Google Now on quite a regular basis then this is going to be a really great launcher for you to use. So as you can see here the search bar is integrated directly into the dock and I've also got a widget at the top here which has nothing to do with the pixel I just think it looks nice but I'm going to be showing you in Nova Launcher how you can get the Google Pixel widget on any device. Now as you can see here you can also hide and customize your applications as well so I don't really have any duplicates like the clock and the calendar because Action Launcher has a ton of customized features and that's what we're going to be taking a look at now. So if you long press on your home screen, go into the settings, go down to the help section at the bottom, you can look at exactly what's new with Action Launcher. So you've got certain things like the pixel bar like I've mentioned, you've also got adapt icons, so if you want all of your icons to look uniform in terms of having them all square or circular for example, then you've got the options to do so straight away. You've also got some integration with the weather which is really awesome to see at a glance, and you've got integration with Google Now and also long pressing on icons to get certain shortcuts to certain features that you can use within an application. So whether that's quickly composing an email for example or taking a selfie you've got some great customized features here. So to get the integrated search bar into the dock like on the Pixel with Action Launcher 
You long press on your home screen, go into settings, and then you go into quick bar. You then click on style just at the top, and then it's going to be the one at the very top that is search box in the dock. Now, just as an example, you've got action bar, you've got at the top, and you've got no bar whatsoever. So if I just change it to put at the top as a very quick example, once everything then reloads, you can see that the search bar is at the top, and then I've got a standard dock like you would normally have. So again, if you want to revert back to having the pixel style, you long press, go into your settings, go down to quick bar, and then just change the style at the top, and you want to go for the very top one that is search box dock, and then once you go back, everything's set and ready to go. Now, you can also customize this search bar with different things whether that's shortcuts to applications and things so again it's really awesome in terms of what you can do with action launcher now as i mentioned you do have other widgets that are available but you don't have any that fit with the google pixel 2 you've got the pill design that you had with the original pixel for example so if i put that just at the top in the left hand side and then if i take the weather and just put that up into the right you can see that it kind of looks like the original pixel from the top and then the newer pixel down from below but overall, Action Launcher is one of my favorite launchers, and I'm going to have it linked in the description down below. Now, Nova Launcher is my favorite launcher, so I'm not going to go into too much detail on exactly how to use it because I've done a bunch of videos before. I'm just going to tell you how to get the Pixel 2 style with using Nova Launcher Prime. So, first thing you want to do is long press on your home screen, go into gestures and inputs, and then you want to set swipe up to get applications. So, what you can then do is swipe up anywhere on your home screen to get to your app drawer, or you can actually do it from the dock itself, and it's going to bring up all of your applications super smooth. We then need to turn off a couple of features like the dock and the persistent search bar. So again, long press on your home screen, go into the settings, and then you want to just head to desktop at the very top as you can see, and then turn off persistent search bar. Once you've done that, when you go back to your home screen, you can see then that the search bar is completely gone, allowing you to customize with anything that you want. Again, head into the settings, then go onto your dock, and then you want to just disable the dock as well. So when you go back to your home screen, it is completely bare. Now you can just rock this setup if you want Want something very minimal because again you can swipe up from anywhere to get to your application drawer you don't need any buttons on the home screen at all so then you're ready to get the search bar at the bottom now you can download numerous pixel search bars from the play store but you can also just use the one that's integrated within nova launcher so once you get to your nova launcher widgets which aren't in alphabetical order they're right at the very top you're going to find that there's one there for the google search bar so all you want to do is just long press on that and then drag it onto your home screen and put it right at the bottom of the home screen and then it's going to pop into place now for me it's defaulted to the pixel style launch bar from the original pixel so you don't really want that so what you then Want to do is long press on the actual widget itself and then click on edit you've then got the option of changing the search bar so you can kind of do what you want but for us we're going to go with the rounded search bar and we're just going to have the normal g color now you can also change it to black and white or monochrome for example or have the full google text but for me i prefer the simplicity of the g on the left hand side and then the voice search on the right hand side and then you just want to stretch it out to fill the whole bottom of the screen and then you're set with the search bar you can then go ahead and put any five applications that you want just above the search bar and that's basically just going to give you the illusion of having the dock at the bottom but as you can swipe up anywhere to access your applications it's not really a dock it's still just the home screen but for me it still gives it a really clean look. You then want to get the widget at the top of the screen and you've got a couple of different options to do this. You can use KWGT widgets or you can use Zupa widget but for me for some reason the weather never normally loads in when I'm using Zupa so we're going to stick to KWGT for now. Now the widget pack that you want is going to be called Trident 3 and it's going to be available for both of these widget packs. So again all you need to do is just set a widget on your home screen, resize it to where you want it to be and then go through and find the actual widget that you need. Now you've got loads here to choose from but the ones that we want to be concentrating on are going to be just down here you've got the pixel 2 calendar and then you've also got the pixel 2 date and that's the one that we're going to be using so all you need to do is just click on that and then you can see that it's going to give you a really nice preview of exactly what it's going to look like then all you need to do is click save in the top right hand corner and then when you go back to your home screen the widget is all there and ready to go and this looks to me just like the google pixel 2 now you can also resize this widget and put it anywhere that you need to and widget packs like zoom and KWGT allow for so much customization. I'm going to be saving that for a whole other video. So if you guys want to see some in-depth tutorials on how to use these widget applications, then let me know by hitting that thumbs up down below. As always with Nova Launcher, you've got all of the customizability that you can think of. You've got quick access in terms of shortcuts, as you can see here. And you've also got the Google Now page to the left-hand side as well. So it's all very nice, super simple, and it's a really easy way to customize your device to make it look exactly as you want it to. 
And that is going to do it guys on how to make any Android device look just like the brand new Pixels. So if you enjoyed this video be sure to give it a thumbs up down below and if you've got any questions or comments about what you've seen today let me know in the comments section down below or on Twitter at Copper vs Glass. Links to everything that you've seen in this video are going to be in the description down below so you guys can go ahead and customize your Android device any way that you want or you can follow this tutorial and make it look just like the Pixel 2. If you want to get some more content like this in the future don't forget to subscribe and I'm going to be uploading a lot more videos on a lot more regular basis so that's definitely something to look forward to. Now for those of you that have stuck around I'm going to be doing a giveaway now for the premium versions of both Action Launcher and also Nova Launcher. All you need to do is leave a comment down below as to which one's your favourite and make sure that you give this video a thumbs up and I'll pick a winner in around two to three weeks. PayPal you the money that you're going to need to download it directly from the Play Store so you guys can get all of the customization features that you've seen in this video plus way more because you're going to have the fully unlocked version of either Action Launcher or Nova Launcher Prime. So I'm going to be picking three different winners. You can choose between Action Launcher or Nova Launcher. And I'm going to announce the winners in around three weeks time. So again, make sure to leave a thumbs up down below and comment which one's your favorite. And as always, good luck. And don't forget guys, if you want to be one of the first people to see this video or future videos, then be sure to hit that subscribe button and also hit that notification bell to get notified anytime I post a new video.